One of the most pervasive problems in our culture today is one of pornography. And uh, everybody wants the, the church to talk about sex until somebody starts talking about sex. And they're like, uh, this is uncomfortable. Can we go to the next topic there? Uh, but we're going to go there today. And um, what I have found in, in uh, my conversations with people who are wrestling through this, who are struggling um, through this, whether it's um, occasional or even, even at addiction level, is the, the things that people try to do uh, to try to overcome it. The first is this, is I see people be like, okay, what I'm going to try to do is I'm just not going to think about this thing. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to think about it. And as you try not to think about it, it doesn't really work because you're thinking about it. <laughs> so that strategy doesn't really end up working. Or the second thing um, that I, I see people do is like, I'm just going to try harder. I'm just going to, I'm going to try to just like, I, I know I can do this. And maybe you toss up a prayer here or there, but, but we just try harder. And ultimately what happens for you and for me is when we face the temptations that, that we struggle with is we fail. So I want to give you some practical ideas that, that might just help you today. If this is your particular struggle and it can apply to other struggles as well. But the first, specifically when it comes to uh, pornography, is we've got to make it harder to access. Like, if you have all the time access to something that is really, like, always tempting you, you, you need to just put some simple blocks on there. Uh, like, you can just make it so that you can't go to any adult websites unless somebody types in a password for you. All you need is one trusted person uh, to be able to do it. And um, now you can make it so that it's not just there all the time. Like when you face that moment of temptation, it's just right there. And, and what I'll tell you is this can, this can really help. Like I think of it as like you would never put somebody who's a recovering alcoholic into a bar all day long and watch people drink. But like we have access all day long. And so we've got to put some parameters there and make our access more challenging. It will help for those moments where we're feeling weak. But the second thing that I think, just as a practical thing that can help us, is to recognize that the temptation is going to come in like a wave. There's actually like physiological studies that have been done that there's endorphins that are released into your brain and it, it comes on strong and it comes on fast, but it also comes on for a short amount of time. Like, it's like a 15 minute thing. And I'm not saying like set a timer and watch it go down. Like that, that's not going to work out for you. But, but I'm saying it's like there is an end point. And so if you could just practically do something different, like get something, your mind engaged in something else. Like maybe it's scripture or maybe it's a walk or it's a cold shower or it's like playing a video game. Like, I don't, I don't know, like some other vice that is actually healthy for you can be really helpful so that you do not give in to temptation. And one of the, one of the great things to know is not just that like temptation is going to come, it's going to come in a wave and there's going to be an end point. Like that is really helpful. I, I want to encourage you today. There have been several men that I have had the privilege of walking through who had extreme addictions in this sphere of pornography and have found freedom. Like if, if you're feeling discouraged today, like I, I don't think this is, I, I've battled this for way too long. Like you just don't know what it's like. What I can tell you is there is hope for you. There is freedom that is available to you. And the beautiful thing about what scripture promised to, promises to us in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, it says there is always a way out of temptation. There always is for us, and that is a beautiful gift. But I will tell you, these are good, helpful, practical tips that I would encourage you to implement into your life. But can I tell you what the ultimate thing that is always the best antidote to temptation for you and for me is to fall more and more in love with Jesus. Ultimately, it comes down to this, being obsessed with him and his ways and his views on sexuality and what he says will actually bring fulfillment and not temporary satisfaction. The ultimate example is Jesus. And you and I today are invited to fall more and more in love with him. 
Hey, thank you so much for watching and joining us today. If this helped you and you would like more of this type of content, please hit the subscribe button. Our hope and our goal is to help you enrich your faith journey. Thank you for joining us.